Hey, I'm Joe with Revzilla, and today we're taking a look at a Cherubis fuel tanks available at Revzilla.com. The Cherubis USA has been around since 1985. They've been meeting the heavy demands of motocross and off-road riders for decades at this point. So they offer a huge range of products to help us off-roaders improve our rides. So what we have today are a range of extended capacity gas tanks. The more fuel you can hold, the longer you can ride between fill-ups. So what we have here are gas tanks you'll see for motocross and off-road bikes and also some auxiliary options. Prices are gonna range between $100 and $400. And don't forget, Revzilla does offer that price match policy. So if you do find any of these for less elsewhere, we're happy to get you the best price possible. Now you'll wanna start out by entering your bike into Revzilla's bike finder with their year make and model to see what fuel tanks the Cherubis offers for your machine. Once you get to that point, you may see a few different options as far as capacity goes and also some colors. So we have a translucent one here, which would uh, be similar to the stock gas tank on my KTM. This is a KTM uh, fuel tank, so you can see the fuel level. There's some black options. I'll show you a Yamaha one in a second that's blue, but quite a few different options there from a Cherubis. Now, there are some universal fit options too, like this handlebar gas tank. So we'll get into the details in just a second, but just be mindful that a Cherubis does offer a wide range of fuel tank options for your machine. Now, getting into the construction, these are made of cross-linked polyethylene. Uh, this is XLPE. This is five times stronger than traditional high-density polyethylene. The long and the short of that really is that these gas tanks are made tough and they can take a beating off-road. When we start talking about the different options, now you'll see I threw one of these Cherubis fuel tanks on our 450R to show you in this video, and it's just slightly larger than stock. So the fuel actually gets stored a little bit out into the radiator shrouds over the radiators a bit, because that bike is a motocross bike, so it really does not hold much fuel from the factory. So that adds a maybe a few tenths of a gallon to the capacity of that bike, which would allow you to do a longer race, of course. Now, for instance, this one I talked about earlier, I have a 250 XCW KTM. My gas tank holds about two and a half gallons. So depending on how hard I'm pushing the bike, I might be able to get 80, maybe 85 miles out of a tank on that bike on reserve. This adds another about a half gallon to the capacity on my bike, which would get me up to almost 100 miles on a tank. So without me having to worry about going back to the truck for fuel, I could ride quite a bit longer with this extended range fuel tank. Now in an extreme scenario, we have one for a Yamaha here but it carries double the fuel capacity than the stock tank. So if you're gonna use a WR for an Enduro or a Dual Sport, and you don't wanna to have to worry about carrying extra fuel, a Cherubis offers this tank, which carries the fuel down behind the radiator shrouds and nice and low. So you can see the tower really isn't huge, but it really gets the, the weight of the fuel down low. Now that is something to consider with fuel tanks. Fuel does weigh about six pounds per gallon. So when you are adding extra fuel to the bike, it will affect the handling. So just be mindful of that. Another unique option we have up here again is the handlebar tank. Now this holds about 0.6 gallons. This attaches to a 7 8 or an inch and eighth handlebar with a crossbar or without. All of the mounting hardware is included to get this mounted on your handlebars. And what's really unique is that this hose actually goes to the stock vent hose on your gas tank and it siphons the fuel from the handlebar tank into your main tank. So it gets the weight off of the handlebars before it starts draining the rest of the tank. So this does extend the range of your bike without having to change change the OEM tank out. This is a nice option if you just occasionally need some extra fuel and you don't want to have to fuss around with carrying extra fuel bottles in your backpack or strapping them to the bike somewhere. When it comes to installation, all of these will include any of the additional hardware that you may need. And in most cases, you'll will need to recycle some of the old original hardware. For our 450R, I needed to use some of the uh, bolts that held the original shrouds to that tank, but no problem. I transferred some of the mounting hardware over. Um, it really only took me about 15 minutes to swap that tank over. Now, one thing to consider with the carbureted bikes, new petcocks are included, which I thought was a really nice touch because Petcock is a wear item. In most cases, you would need to replace that separately, but for the carbureted bike options, the Cherubis was nice enough to include new ones. Now for the EFI bikes, the fuel injected bikes, you will need to use the fuel pump that's in your stock tank. Quick tech tip there, I've seen some other folks use some safety wire to draw the fuel pump through uh, into the new tank to, to help installation there. That would probably be the hardest part of the installation overall, is just transferring the uh, fuel pump from the original tank to the new tank, but everything that you need is included. So overall, I think a Cherubis offers a great range of fuel tank options for a variety of off-road bikes. But if you'd like to see what other riders have to say, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. And as always, if you have any questions about these or anything else you see on our website, give our gear geeks a shout at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email to cs at revzilla.com. Thanks for watching our video today about a Cherubis fuel tanks. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time.